I'm doing pop culture, entertainment, that first heard, you might know Popcorn Planet and Nerdette's newsstand. Now, I made a video on Andy Signor, who's the owner of Popcorn Planet, and Nerdette's newsstand said a few things about me. I figured I'd check it out. It must be positive. I've got a nice smile. I'm a nice guy. Everyone loves me. Let's see what we got. What really irritates me, and I don't want to be an asshole, and I'm going to try to be nice here. I actually commented on this. And I put, wow, such lies. Just because I was fucking irritated. But yeah, pretty crazy. Surprised they're still on us. And I put, I met you. <laughs> no <laughs> reply. Shocker, right? Um, I don't necessarily always agree with Entertainment Hacker. Um, on a lot of culture war stuff, right? I don't. But what we always agreed on is he, I, and Darth. Well, to be fair. Incredibly average was the, the band, right? He was the goat, so to speak. He always was the one who brought, you know, stuff to light in the very beginning. He, Hacker, myself, and Darth started covering it right around the same time and before the trial. And it would always be a joke, like, oh, you got to it before me. Oh, you got to it before me, right? It was always just something and I had a lot of respect for all, all both of them because we were all working on the same thing a lot of people started covering it after and we always knew kind of you know that not to be dick but we were we were very close to some of the first people covering this on YouTube it sounds like an ass but I'm just saying love me some Darth yeah he's awesome I haven't I haven't I know he got okay there's another one I mentioned earlier when Joseph Morris, I said, was monetized. Darth got demonetized too. There's another one. I forgot about him. Um, what are you guys saying about the Morris guy? Oh, he's fucking sicko. But this frustrates me because this community, for what it's worth, is supposed to be about victims. That's how it started. Didn't matter what gender they were. They were victims, right? And you were supposed to do the right thing. Why doesn't that apply across the board? Well, okay. First of all, I didn't know that Andy Signor was guilty and convicted and was actually found to be the abuser or found to have committed what was accused on him. Now, I don't think he was. I could be wrong. So what Tristan is about to say is correct. She says that I might not have done my research, which I don't do too much of. I'm more of a personality guy. You might know Jeremy Griggs from Geeks and Gamers. I'm sure some of you do, some of you don't. But what Jeremy does is he makes like five minute videos and hits the news as fast as he can and makes videos as fast as he can. Now some other YouTubers on his level do like scripted videos. They think about things. They dive deep into the same subjects. The point I'm getting at with Jeremy here is my channel is similar. I'm a personality guy. I hit the news fast. I get the facts right the best I can. And my strategy is quantity over quality, basically. But you'll get a good piece of the news and you'll get the main facts. And I try to get those right. That's all I do. So if, if somebody knows that Andy had a police report filed, a medical report filed, there's audio or video or something incriminating, tangible, I didn't see, I'll be happy to feature that. But without that, I, I don't know. But let's keep listening. And trust me, I'm not really mad or serious here, but I just had to say that one thing, a couple of serious points, but I'm really not that serious. This is kind of fun to see Nerdettes talk about me. I'm kind of honored. Because there is one person that may be a bigger name in the community, if you find out something bad about them, why doesn't that apply to them too? My guess, my guess, and I can't say I blame him for it, and I and I don't want to necessarily be mean to eHacker. I was just really disappointed, but my guess is that if he were to speak out against it, he's afraid to lose. He is afraid to lose subs. And views. And I'm not saying that in a mean way, right? Not at all. Because I lost 
I know I lost. I, it, people said they unsubscribed. I didn't actually see it in my, uh, like, you know, you, you get a thing in your analytics that says how many people subscribed that day. I didn't actually see the evidence of it. But people said they unsubscribed. And that could be. And I'm sure that's what he's afraid of. I think the best thing for him to do, I don't think he actually, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say he didn't do his research. That's that's what I think. Um, I, I was just, uh, I was just really disappointed. I really, I honestly was. We're going to watch a little bit of it, but. Okay, so I guess I'll be watching my own video. And now an article by NBC is being written about him, how he was canceled during the Me Too movement. And I'll explain that. It's actually pretty simple. He actually admitted to a few things he did, but the things he did were really not so bad. Basically, what he said was he flirted with some employees or some followers or something like that, but it wasn't anything like what he was accused of. <sighs> you see what I mean? Did he expose you? No, I mean... We could look at that instead of this, but I, 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 there was a girl that made a bunch of videos of me saying I was me. Okay, I think that's about where Tristan stops talking about me. I hope you like my impression of myself. It was perfect. 10 out of 10. No one could do it exactly like me because I'm me, but we knew that. Okay, so here's the thing. What I read is that Andy admitted to certain things. He admitted to a lot of the things that he was being accused of, but he denied the serious ones. The really serious accusations, I don't think we've got tangible, absolute evidence for. So he did a few things that some people would consider distasteful. But for me, the things he did weren't enough to get pissed and cancel him and go against him. If it was proved that he did the more heavy things, well, yeah, maybe. And I'm willing to put that on my channel. Send the evidence. Same standards that we held for Amber. Police report, medical report, video, or audio, obviously authentic and undisputed that it's him. What I don't want to see is the accusations, their screenshots of things, this and that. I get that. Maybe some things are out there, but if I'm going to actually say something bad about someone in the community, then we got to have the hardcore evidence. And if we do, if I get that, you guys got my Twitter, you got my email, I'd be happy to feature that on my channel. Scared of losing subscribers? Yes, I love subscribers. That's what I'm here for. I make videos to hopefully get subscribers. So yeah, please don't unsubscribe. Money? Yes. This is a part-time job for me. I buy diapers, pay bills, get essentials for my kids. Yes, please. I like money. Views? Yes, I like views. You know why? Because the only reason you make a video is to get views, and there's no other reason. The only reason people make videos is to get views. And don't tell me about that sound clip thing. That's a sound clip. You're still essentially making it for people to listen to it. Now, I'm not going to be 100% transparent. That's not fun. Not everyone wants to hear that. So I'm like 90% honest and transparent. I missed Tristan's comment. I usually pin her comments and respond to them. I still get like 50 comments a day, even though the channel's, you know, sold down a little bit. So I miss some, but I try. I really do. At least like four or five times a day, I'm giving hearts and things like that. And I like giving hearts. It's a very fun part of YouTube. So yeah, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Maybe I'm getting it right. But all I know is I haven't had actual evidence come to me yet to give a definitive opinion on it. And what I did say at the end is that I got to judge Andy on how he treated me personally, which was good. About three or four months ago, he mailed me out of the blue, you know, let's hook up, can we collab, anything you need, that kind of thing. I never talked to him in my life. So what he did was he saw my channel around, he saw me supporting Johnny, he had probably 300k subs at the time, and said, Oh, you know, I'll shoot this guy a mail, see if he, you know, wants to collab or something. It wouldn't bring him any big subscribers or anything. His wide-scale audience doesn't really know who I am. Not really. It would mostly help me. All right, I feel like I ranted here. Point is, some things Tristan said were right. I'm not mad. Why would I be? I don't get mad. I like seeing myself on our channel. I wish 
Maybe it was a different video. Maybe just more of a fun, lighthearted video about Amber in Spain taking a picture out the window or something. I don't know. But it was this one, and that's cool. Go check out her channel. It's a good channel. I've been watching it since she had 154 subs. I was 155. I'm not going to get into details because, I don't know, maybe she doesn't want people to know like who she was hanging out with and stuff when the channel first started. But I'm an OG there. And now I got to mention, if you're not subscribed here, please subscribe. Because, yes, I like subscribers more than I like a lot of things. And if you're not subscribed here and you don't subscribe, I'll be sad. And I really, really will. That's not a lie. Done here for now. See you next time. I'm doing Depp vs. Herd, entertainment, things like that. If you're following this community, you probably know Nerdit's Newsstand and Annie Signor. <laughs> Annie Signor? <laughs> it's like Annie. <laughs> the sun will come up. Take two. I'm doing pop culture. <laughs> Take three, that was a laugh, <laughs> and you might know why.